Good to see you again. The factory sent over the parts that were looking good on the rig. They're being fitted as we speak. Have a look at the report. Welcome to the Baku City Circuit, where free practice for the European Grand Prix is about to get underway. This is a technical circuit which will nonetheless see some huge speeds with a near flat out final sector that's twice the length of the back straight in Shanghai. Let's see who can find the right balance in their setup today. Interesting practice session there then. Let's remind ourselves of the top three. Who are Raikkonen, Verstappen and Nico Rosberg. Thank you for joining us for free practice today. We'll be back with more Formula One action very shortly. qualifying goals for this weekend. Welcome to qualifying in the Republic of Azerbaijan. The teams are making their last-minute adjustments before the lights go green and the fight for pole position can get underway. It always looked like the kind of track that asks an awful lot of the rear tyres, such as the frequency of low-speed exits. Lots of low-speed exits means the rears are in for a lot of punishment. It's all too easy to spin them up coming out of a corner too aggressively. It might look great for us as spectators, as we love to see a car driven beyond its limits, but it's not going to result in a great long run pace. The grid is all set then for the race tomorrow, but before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, who are a Ferrari, Raikkonen and Daniel Ricciardo. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event, We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. From Ayrton Senna's famous Donington win in 1993 to Stuart Grand Prix's only victory with Johnny Herbert at the Nürburgring, the European Grand Prix has some special entries into the Motorsport Hall of Fame. But it's time now to create new legends and new memories here on the shores of the Caspian Sea. 
With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. A tough race in store then for our drivers today. So tell me, Anthony Davidson, what will you be looking out for as the cars make their way down into turn one? Well, first of all, let's hope that everyone's well behaved and we can have a nice incident free start. That initial release is going to be the most interesting thing. And the clean side of the grid will be better rubbered in, so keep an eye out for cars over there potentially making their way through. OK, the run into turn one isn't too long, so the pack will be bunched up. Take care. With that then, let's run through the grid order. It's Ferrari in pole position then, and Kimi Raikkonen completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Verstappen, Nico Rosberg, and Gutierrez, Hülkenberg, Alonso, Button, and Sergio Perez, Grosjean, Hamilton, Pascal Wehrlein, and Bottas, Palmer, Harry Anto, Felipe Massa, and Kevin Magnussen. Sainz and Kvyat, Marcus Ericsson and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
That's P1. You're currently in P1. DRS is now enabled and will be available to use when you are within one second of the car ahead in the DRS zone. That is Kimmy behind you. The gap behind us is 4.3 seconds. They're on fresh super softs. The time last lap was a 1.44.6.
great drive. We did a good job. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Tell me, what was the key to this success? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. There's been a league change at the top of the championship after a superb performance. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Ah, oh, well, it's got to be Lewis Hamilton. He was fast, decisive, everything you'd want from a top-class driver. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. Emma here. I had a sit down with the executives today to talk about your progress. Long story short, they're happy. Keep it up. <laughs> 